Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Antonio Neves, and it is my mission to help you rediscover what makes you great so you can start living courageously today. Now, how many of you out there watching this or listening to this have ever had a job interview before? And you walked away from that job interview like, I killed it, I'm gonna get this job. I answered every question that they had for me like a beast, like you felt great. But a day or two goes by and you get that email or you get that phone call and they're like, hey, we really liked you, but you didn't get the job. And you're like, but yo, I answered every question they gave me. Let me tell you something that you're not gonna learn in the career services office in college. Let me tell you something you're not gonna learn in mock interview prep. These are the things that I wish someone told me a long time ago. And that's this right here. If you go into a job interview, only prepare to answer the questions that they have for you, you failed. Once again, if you go into a job interview only prepared to answer the questions they have for you, you have failed. The question begs, how do you separate yourself from the competition? Because if you look the same as the next few people on a resume or on LinkedIn, what's going to make you memorable? What's going to make you stand out? Well, I'm glad you asked, Antonio. The answer is this right here. Next time you go into a job interview, you must have an agenda. This is something that politicians have. This is something that celebrities have when they go into interviews. They have an agenda. That means they have an objective. That means this right here. The next time you go into a job interview, I want you to identify the three things. The three things they must know about you, if nothing else. I don't care if they ask you. I don't care if they bring this up. What are the three things they must know about you before you leave that room, whether the interview lasts an hour, 30 minutes, or 15 minutes? These are the things that are gonna make you stand out. These are the things that probably don't show up always on a resume. Now, an example of this could be maybe in college, not only did you go to school full time, but you worked full time to pay your tuition. When that comes up in a job interview, they're going to know right away that this person is a hard worker, they have a work ethic, we don't need to worry about that, right? You're gonna stand out from the competition. Maybe with your church or, or an organization, you take a, a mission trip every year and you've gone to teach English in a, in a developing country or you've gone to, to build water wells, wells so people have fresh water. That right there shows that you have heart, that you have empathy, that you have compassion. That may be something that's really critical for the corporate culture, what they want in terms of the men and women that they hire. They should know that. Or maybe it's something as simple as photography is your passion. And for the past two years, every Sunday, you have posted a photo and a description of that photo and, and how you went about getting it and the settings of your camera and all that kind of stuff. That right there shows them that you are dedicated. Without anyone asking you to do anything, you are dedicated and you made something happen on your own. They want a person like that on your team. So once again, do not go into a job interview only prepare to answer the questions that they have for you. You will not stand out. However, go into a job interview knowing the three things that they must know about you before you leave that room, and that right there is gonna make you stand apart from the competition, and that right there is gonna make your phone ring, and they're gonna say, yes, we want to hire you.